This video is the last of a 6 video series where we are building a computer vision game that you can play using hand gestures. So far we have loaded Google's media pipe model for hand detection and have been able to move our tiny rocket through the infinite shower of meteors. We have also implemented collision detection along with finite number of lives before the game is over. In this video we will add sound effects to our game and our game will be complete. So for sound effects what we want is a background track that is responsive to our hand detection that is to say that whenever the hands are on the screen and the game is playing the audio should play normally but when the user has left the screen and the game is paused the background track should tone down automatically. On top of that we will also add sound effects to make the collisions bit more interesting so whenever there is a collision we want to play a rock smashing sound effect for all this audio handling i'm going to create a handler class so in the root of my project i'm going to right click new file utils slash audio handler dot ts this uh, utils directory is going to have only one file at this moment but it is always best practice to keep our project organized so for all this audio handling i'm going to use the tone js npm package for that i'm going to install npm install tone so after that is installed i'm going to import it so import star as tone from tone now i'm going to export two functions from this file one is for the background and another is for the sound effect so i'm going to write export async function the reason it is going to be async function is because we'll be checking if the player exists if not then we'll be asynchronously creating an instance of the player and for that I'm going to write let background player which is going to be of type tone dot player and in here I'm going to check if background player is undefined then I'm going to create an instance of the player and this function name I'm going to write play background and this is going to take a parameter whether to distort the audio or not so whenever this function will be called whenever hands are not detected this will be called with distort value as true and whenever the hands are on the screen and the game is playing you're going to call this function with distort value as false so for this we will be creating a background player instance when this uh, background player is undefined so that is going to be background player is equal to new tone dot player and as first argument this takes an url and for that you can download any audio loop and then place it into the public directory in the next.js project and then use that url here for me i created a simple track in the garage band and there i just created a simple loop and then looped it over four bars and in two of those bars i have added a simple drum track so that the whole audio does not become monotonous and it adds some uh, interest to it and i'll not be opening uh, garage band in this video because somehow uh, whenever i open garage band my audio recording completely gets messed up but just make sure that whenever you're exporting that to an audio file make sure that you use uh, ASC codec and not mp3 because when i was using mp3 uh, and i was trying to loop that audio i was seeing a split second gap between the play end and the restarting of the playback and i looked it up this is because uh, for some frames apparently in the mp3 file they add this codec information which uh, kind of stops it from having a seamless loop i would suggest that you use asc codec while exporting the audio and it's saved in my laptop with m4a file extension and i'm going to bring that file here into the public directory so i pasted the loop here uh, into the public directory that means we'll be able to use this url as loop.m4a i'm also going to set the loop parameter as true and finally i'm going to call to destination that is basically going to connect this player to the audio device and when we want to distort the audio for that we want a low pass filter that is also going to come from this same npm package so i'm going to define let low pass as tone dot filter and right after this i'm going to create an instance of the low pass filter as well so that is going to be new tone dot filter and as you can see it takes a frequency and a type of the filter so for the frequency i'm going to add 400 and you can see we have all pass band pass high pass all those filters and i'm going to use the low pass filter here and finally i'll have to call the two destination because later when we want to distort the audio we'll be disconnecting the background player from the audio device and we'll be chaining this low pass filter into it and that is why we need the destination to be connected otherwise the audio will not play now before we call the 
start function we'll have to await to check if the tone has loaded so we're going to await the loaded function on the tone and then call background player dot start that is going to start the playback and after this if block we are going to check if we are receiving the distorted flag as true in that case we are going to say background player dot disconnect so we are disconnecting the player from the audio device and we are chaining the low pass filter here it already has a destination so it will automatically start playing using the low pass filter and else here we are just going to disconnect the low pass filter so background player dot disconnect low pass filter and we are going to send it to destination without the filter now similarly for the effects we are going to export another function that is going to be export function play effects it does not take any parameter and here as well we are going to create a player so i'm going to call it effect player and this is going to be again a new tone dot player it takes a url parameter and for this i have downloaded a sound effect of rock smashing sound i'm going to leave a link to that asset under the video and i'm going to paste that sound effect in the same public directory here so with that we'll be able to use this as url from the public directory slash rock dot m4a and here we don't want it to be looping so we're going to set loop as false and same as before to destination and we'll be again awaiting the tone dot load and then for this reason we'll have to make it async and then we'll be saying effects player dot start so using these two functions we'll be able to play the background track as well as the sound effect now let me go ahead and call these functions from the page.tsx file that is the home page component and here we want to start the background track whenever the component loads that means we'll be using a use effect hook so use effect snippet and as the dependency we are going to say is detected and is game over which are basically two state variables that we have created to track is detected is for tracking whether uh, both of our hands are being detected on the screen uh, and is game over is going to track if the game is over and inside this use effect we're going to write an if statement where we're going to check if it is detecting the hands and if the game is not over then we are going to simply call play background and importing it from the audio handler class where we have defined it and we're going to call it with distorted false so this is going to play the normal sound actually i did a mistake uh, this distort uh, has to be of type boolean so here i'm going to call the play background with the uh, boolean flag distort as false so it is going to play the background track normally in case the hands are being detected and the game is not over and in the else block i'm going to say play background with distorted flag as true and for the sound effect we already have a collision detection handler so for this uh, whenever we are detecting the collision and the, it is not invincible or the game is not over in that case only when we are setting this colliding state variable as well which shows this red border which we have already implemented in earlier videos uh, just within this if block i'm going to say play fx and that is also going to be imported from the audio handler class so this is going to make sure that there is a sound effect playing whenever there is a collision now let me go ahead and test it in pm run dev in the localhost 3000 we can see that the game starts with the pause screen and the audio is toned down uh, since my hands are not being detected if i bring up my hand you can see that audio comes up and you can play the game as usual now i would suggest that you reduce the if you're listening on headphone then reduce the volume a bit because the rock collision might be a little too loud for you so i'm going to go ahead and collide against some rocks and you can see that we can play the game as usual and now uh, if i collide with another rock because i have one more life left we can see that the, it is a game over and our audio is toned down again and if we refresh it starts again starting with the pause screen and as long as your hands are on the screen the game plays as usual and as, as soon as you bring down your hand it is the pause screen and the audio goes into the background with that our game is complete there are a lot of things that you can add onto this game uh, one thing can be reducing the volume uh, of the sound effect as well as uh, that of the background you can work with the game logic and all but i will leave it at this state in the future if i happen to extend this game then i will add that video into the same playlist and you will be getting the uh, playlist link uh, right under this video so just a quick backstory here when about 10 years ago when i was working with rd union and all those things then i built 
built a, a system using which you will be able to play any game or rather control your laptop using just a TV remote and if somebody had told me at that time that in 10 years you will be able to ditch the remote and control everything with just your hand gestures I would probably not have believed it but now you can see that we can build this whole game within a couple of hours so thank you for being with me for this whole journey and I'll see you in the next video.